when you're focused on just using your muscle memory and your experience to get you there. Ed Doring is self-willed, self-determined, and yeah, a bit stubborn as well. Knowing I, I was able to do that well gave me some confidence. This past May, his cool-headedness led to the climb of a lifetime all the way to the summit of Mount Everest. An amazing feat made all the more fantastic when you consider that he was one of many Americans who once suffered from heart problems. By the time we were able to diagnose, I was starting to notice that sometimes my heart rate would go up very high when I was just sitting still. This self-described exercise lover, he kept on ticking Literally, doing research, she came across an emerging heart procedure where diseased parts of the heart are frozen and then repaired. It's called cryoballoon ablation. Try saying it 10 times fast. Here in Phoenix, Ed found Dr. Wilbur Sue was among the first doctors in the nation to have success with the procedure. Technology really caught up to make this much safer, much faster and really uh, success rate is much better. Sure enough, the surgery allowed Ed to recover remarkably fast. Within months, Ed was back to exercising and back to the tallest, tallest of goals, climb Everest. At a height of 29,000 feet, he says Everest offered up excitement, but you better believe a lot of exhaustion. It's like having three margaritas and you're just feeling a little bit, you know, like you can't quite think quite as quickly you know the first what I thought about is wow I can't believe he did that <laughs> now for the record Dr. Sue says he would have never endorsed Ed's climb in fact the whole thing came as a surprise to him but yet here we are a Phoenix local making history all because of medicine and the power of might I mean I think it's great that we have this available in Phoenix tonight Ryan Sims Arizona's family